Okay, so today, for the first time in two months, I go downtown, and you know what? I have not missed the aggravation of the bus. Because whenever um, I get on the bus, you know, and I get there on time, I know the schedule, I get there on time, so I'm seated on the bus and ready to go when it's time to leave. Every time I'm downtown, there's always these fucking jackasses that come up to the bus right when it's supposed to leave or after it's supposed to leave, and they get on and hold us all up. I haven't had to put up with that for two fucking months. And you know what? I didn't miss it. Why can you not read a fucking schedule? The bus leaves at 3.53. Or 1.53 in this case. So don't come moseying up at like 1.54 or 1.55. Because you... Couple stragglers. And then you got more stragglers. And next thing you know, we leave two, uh, 2 o'clock. Seven fucking minutes late. Now, to some people, that might be nothing. I am for New Jersey. We are chronically in a hurry. We don't like that kind of bullshit. Seven minutes is like 500 years. So I didn't miss that fucking shit. Then I got to go to the store. So while I'm out, kill two people with one bird. And I'm not encouraging killing people. It's just a silly phrase. So anyway, I go. I'm, there's a lady ahead of me at the store. In the line, she's getting ready to pay. Well, it turns out her EBT card doesn't have enough on it. Now, I'm not criticizing the EBT card users. My wife and I had it for a while. If you need the help and the help is there for you, I encourage you to go get the help, provide for your family in any way possible. However, could you be a responsible adult and remember how much you have on your EBT card so when it runs out and you don't have enough, you go, I'm out on my ET, EBT card. I don't have enough. Well, if you keep track of the balance on it, you would have enough. So then I wouldn't have to stand there for 900 years waiting for you to get your other form of payment out after you stand there for two minutes trying to ponder this uh, <coughs> evidently mind-boggling mystery. There's no mystery. Let's say your EBT card had $22 on it, and you buy $38 worth of whatever. That's $16 short. So either put $16 worth of crap back until you, you're right back where you're at. Until you hit the $22 amount. Or just pay that amount and then put the rest on your own money. Or just do without it. Whatever. Whatever you decide to do, speed up the process. People that use EBT cards, please get the help for your family. I encourage it. It's out there. By all means, use it. But use it with common sense and keep track of your fucking balance. I see this all the time. Whoa! I don't have enough on my card! Well, keep track of that shit. I had $75 on there. I just spent $15. Now I have $60 on there. Okay, so next time I go to the store, I better not buy $78 worth of Twizzlers because I'm going to be a little short. Think, fuckers! Think!